love personal filmmaking. It's a transcendent thing. It's uh, not escapist, but it's a transcendent thing where your world completely expands. And that's kind of a drug for me. I would love to sort of snap my fingers and be in Rome or be in Paris. So if I had a superpower, it would be that. Just snap. I really like these lavish, big musical films. But I don't think, I don't really know if I could make one. No, I'm not a rule person. I like, it's not that I like breaking rules, but I like challenging rules. And I like flexibility. I don't like anything rigid. Those social experiences that happen in a movie theater can't be replaced. I mean, I have a 16-year-old son and he wants to go to the cinema just also to maybe make out with girls in a dark place. When we showed Gambling Gods and LSD at Burning Man, people were having sex in front of the screen. So that's pretty, that's pretty extreme. If I was cast as a villain or a superhero, I think I'd want to be like a water superhero, something that kind of slips through your fingers, but just something that's always changing, that you can't quite pin down, that's always morphing and evolving. So yeah, like a chameleon goddess, something like that. I think that we'll definitely have chip implants. Just the way everyone's listening to their iPods now, we'll be having screens, transparent, sort of translucent screens in front of our faces. Okay, a billion dollars to make a movie? That kind of goes against everything I'm about because I'm a micro-budget girl. Well, I've actually learned that it um, would cost half a billion dollars to go to the moon. So I could kind of see making a movie on the moon. I would do a huge release and I would make sure every household across Canada gets a copy of the movie. Just the complete immersion in a film with big sound and big picture. With popcorn, with frozen yogurt, um, with a beer in a movie theater with people.